All right, let's let's get into this, guys. Uh, Do it. Game game number three. And spawning in the bottom left position as the blue Zerg player coming in for Quantic Gaming. He's down 0-2, man. I'm I'm surprised it's been going this hard this way. It's uh, it's Hyun. Hopefully he can come back um, against this guy who we're looking at right now. Currently up two to zero in this best of seven show match sponsored by Clarity. It is our red Protoss player. Um, very young. I think he's still only just like 14 years old. Maybe he gets younger every day because he's still a pretty damn good player. It's going to be a red Protoss player, Creator Prime. Yeah, man. Um, Cloud I Kingdom, say... Nathanius, talk to me about Cloud Kingdom. What do you think about this map for ZVP? It's it's as good a map as either race could hope for, really. This is this is pretty much, you know, answer, just looking I like at the it. Answer. Yeah, it's 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 a, any, every race really likes this map. I, I think the only matchup where someone doesn't like it is maybe Terrans against Protoss because it's hard to abuse Metafax. <laughs> but uh, I, I think we're gonna see a pretty standard game out of both of these players. Um, I don't think that Hyun's gonna try anything crazy. I, I feel like he's gonna try to fall back on a really nice macro style with possibly just going for a big three base timing. Um, if he anticipates this kind of Stargate play again, I think he's going to just try to kill Creator before he can actually get that infrastructure set up. Yeah, uh, that's a, a really good point. Cloud Kingdom, I feel, is kind of a map very similar to Daybreak. Not a lot of people really... Um, they don't really hate this map. I mean, you have a few people that are like, no, I don't want to play Count, uh, Cloud Kingdom. But overall, I would say it's a pretty good map for all three races. ZVP, of course, a matchup we've seen a lot of in Wings of Liberty. Not so much for Heart of the Swarm, just because it's not a map still into uh, or still implemented into the actual Blizzard ladder pool. But build order so far, it's very standard. Looks like Hyun doing the same exact thing he's been doing every single game, going for the 14 pool. A little bit of denying here by the probe of Creator Prime. Doesn't want his opponent to get the expansion. I don't blame him, man. Just. Uh, Try to, try to deny it for as long as possible, but unfortunately, um, Hyun's going to get it down. Creator's going for Nexus first. Forge being added, uh, and it's it's looking like it's going to be a, a very similar opening here for, for normal PVZs. Yeah, not unusual at all. Um, and getting that Nexus first, though, pretty pretty solid. Um, but Hyun hasn't done anything to you know kind of pull any punches this game. He's, he's gone for um, the economically timed spawning pool. He's gotten this hatchery up at a good timing. We should see him go for a third hatchery. Um, pretty quickly as well, and well, Creator's not getting his gateway up. Should be getting that cannon up next, and then his gas geysers. So, what do you think Creator does on this map? I promise, is he just gonna go for the same style again? It worked so well, or are we gonna see something more like game number one with a, a two base timing of his own? There's uh there's some good, there's a good possibility he can go for the Immortal Sentry just because it's another build that's very powerful on this map. You have the back area you can come from. You have, of course, the ramp leading into the third which is another avenue of, uh, of just entering into your opponent's third base. But he can also go for Stargate, which he's shown he can be very good at. And the thing, like most Protoss players, what they struggle with when they go Stargate is they're so worried about a counterattack from the Zerg. And Creator Prime really seems to have his timings down, or he has enough Void Rays to be able to defend any kind of Ling Hydra timing from the Zerg player. So it's a, it's a possibility. Um, we'll have to see what it's going to be. I mean, the Cybernetic Score has been placed at the Natural. Um, the gas timings at the natural, of course, are going to be another huge indicator. If he takes it a little bit early, uh, before the 6.30 minute mark, he's probably going to be going for Stargate. If he goes for plus one on the Forge, he's probably going to be going for maybe an Immortal Sentry uh, or some, si uh, some sort of gateway pressure. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It, it, can be, it can be pretty interesting, that, that kind of setup in terms of the build choice for the map. Uh, especially your comment about um, the, the different areas, of the angles you can attack from for uh, the Sentry pushes. But we do have a pretty quick gas here from Hyun. He's, uh, he got it by like, what, the four and a half minute mark. So this could be for very fast Zergling speed. He's about to hit 100 gas, so we'll find out if it's for that or maybe uh, one of his infamous uh, really fast lair plays. But it is speed, and we'll promise we <laughs> have another robotics facility coming up. Oh, boy. Is it going to be an observer or an immortal? That's, that's what I'm going to be uh, stalking this robotics facility for. If it's an observer, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be like a pretty quick third base. But if it's uh, if it's an immortal, then probably going to be that uh, that pretty little immortal sentry all in that uh, is very very popular on this map. But I mean, I want to see the mothership core with Nathanius. That would be so. It would just be a much stronger push if you decided to do that. But we'll we'll look at it. If it's an observer. I hope I hope that it's an observer so we can have a nice little macro game on Cloud Kingdom. But back in the base of Hyun, just getting speed, getting a pretty quick layer. Third base has completed, just making drones right now, and it's an immortal, so it's possibly going to be an immortal century, Nathanius. <laughs> oh boy. 
I mean, and look at the rally point on it too. He's not going to send it out to the front. He wants to keep it tucked in the back here. And, you know, there's no real airspace to run behind for an Overlord. So scouting this becomes very, very difficult for Hyun. Yeah. And, I mean, he's got his third base. He's droning up uh, pretty hard. But like we saw in the last game, uh, he hasn't gone for a road torn with this. He's actually adding on four gas geysers right now. So this is very interesting. He could be... I'm not 100 sure what he might want to be doing with this. Um, I haven't seen too much uh, three base... Like kind of play for swarm host. Do you think this is gonna be mutalisks? Um, no roach warren, four gases. Um, pretty quick speed. He's getting a macro hatch as well. This can possibly be. Okay, oh. it's hydralisks. Hmm. It's That's a actually a good choice. It's a lot of gas. Yeah, that is. Build, but I, I, hmm. it should be able to work out. I, I think what he wants to do is that three base timing. He start already starting to put out zerglings. Um, and we have the Immortal coming out, and what this is really going to do is just give him, I think, a much better uh, setup for fighting against this, since he's already mm -hmm. making units, as opposed to, you know, his Hydralis, his Hydralis then's building as he's getting attacked uh, yeah. in game number one. So there are some Zerglings out now, and he knows there's no third base, so, I I mean, I, I guess this is, this is going to be a bit better of a setup for Hyun, but Creator already has the three Immortals. He is getting ready to push, either he's either going to push or he's going to take a third base, and I, with this war prism coming in and the four extra gateways being added, mm. it's it's feeling like it's just going to be used for warp ins. I'm feeling a two base this. push. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling a two base push from Creator with that many gateways oh. with the warp prism. Uh, he's going to pick off a few of these links, and the thing for Hyun that's better in this game is he actually has speed. It's not going to make a huge difference, but if he can get the surface area around the sentries and and focus those down, he can actually just easily clean up the Immortals and the Stalkers with the remaining Hydralisks. So here comes the push from Creator. Both players are pretty even in supply. I want to look at the Harvester count. 56 drones to 45 probes. Creator, look at the production tab, Nathanius. No drone, or excuse me, no probes in the production tab. This is going to be a very strong two-base all in play here from Creator, and uh, not surprised on this map, it's going to be up to Hyun to really find a flank or a way of opportunity to go ahead and you know engage into the army uh, with this low, uh, with this Ling Hydro composition. So it's all going to come down to positioning, but Creator's army slowly but surely he's just adding on more and more units. Yeah, I mean he's got the two spine crawlers finished now. He is sending some units. It looks like he wants to try to send some units around to possibly uh, flank and surround this army, but. You know, it's just a shame he lost those 20 lings earlier trying to poke at the shields and the immortals have regenerated. All the shields, he's coming up now. Guardian shield activated. Force field. A lot of these hydralisks being held back. He doesn't have the range, but uh, he does have a pretty good arc this time. The warpism, though, activating. He's going to be dropping in more of these zealots and he has to pull the drones. This is it. Can he hold this push off? We have one of the immortals is going to die. Uh, the hydralisks is putting as much as they can. The zealots are gone. He doesn't have any zerglings, though. 34 on the way. Uh, and. Man, this is so close, but Creator st uh, staying barely even slightly ahead in supply. This is just going to be so hard to stop. 15 workers lost, killed. More reinforcements coming in from Hyun, though. The Lynx are going to be able to surround these sentries. More force fields being placed down here by Creator. Guardian Shield, of course, is going to help tremendously in this battle. But that one Immortal Man, 13 kills. And the third base under attack here for Hyun. If he loses this... He's going to have to possibly go for a counterattack with this Ling Hydra composition, but Creator playing this very patiently, very methodically, warping in some more units, trying to kind of squeeze in the back by the ramp, and he's going to warp in some more Zealots. Of course, great for doing damage and tanking, but here comes this round again by Hyun, and Creator is just controlling this really, really nicely. Yeah, this is so hard of a push to deal with, and the Ling's getting cut apart. The Zealots Ooh. have that plus Ooh. one attack. And, I mean, you can lose the third base sometimes to this and be okay, but he pulled drones off of the natural again. He doesn't really have any mining going on there anymore. And more units are just coming in for Creator. He still has an Immortal. He still has a good healthy number of sentries. He, I mean, most of them have burned out a lot of their force fields. But he still has enough to continue this push. And now he's just warping in more units. Up double the supply almost of Hyun. I'm, I'm just not sure that uh, he's going to be able to hold this promise. Yeah, this is uh, very, very similar to the first game. This is kind of how it was. Creator killed the third. Hyun was stuck on one base. Very similar drone count. I mean, 25 drones to 44 probes. And Creator's just pulling back. So this is like a replay, I guess, of the first game, just on a different map. If you guys want to look at it that way. But Hyun is, is not in a good position. 70 supply to 115. Creator has plus one. He can easily just make plus one armor. In fact, he's just doing that in the production tab, warping in some more units. Um, it's not looking good for Hyun. He does have that macro hatch, so he can 
um, make additional heart, uh, hydrolisks and zerglings, of course, with the remaining minerals. But he doesn't have a lot of minerals. He has 200 minerals. And uh, here comes the pusher from Creator, and I feel like this is going to do it for, uh, for a Protoss player. Yeah, he's just walking right in. There's the GG from Gian. Can't.